we've got a really unique oddball radio here this next time. This radio is really interesting because of the type of dial that it has. I've got the speaker out of it. I'm, I'm just now getting started. This thing is a film dial radio. The dial is a screen and it has a piece of film that projects the numbers and stuff on that screen. And when you when you turn the handle, it takes that film and moves it along to show the different uh, stations. Now, I, it, it doesn't work, so I haven't been able to turn it on to see what it does. But we're going to go ahead and restore it and get the whole thing to working and see what, what this thing does. Okay, let's uh, get it out of here and see what what it takes to fix it. I picked this up for for uh, $20 at an auction and um, I have no idea what make it is. Let's see. It says Montgomery Ward is, is a uh, an airline. I'll have to find the model number of it. It's going to be hard to do because I don't have any other information on it. Um, okay, let's get over here on the bench. Now, I've got that loose. I need a parts cup. Here, this is for the eye tube. This is for the speaker. Okay. This is probably the antenna and ground wire right here. Okay. And underneath, I would doubt that it's been touched. Okay. It has not been touched. We can see that. Uh, there has not been anything done to it. It's got all the original capacitors and stuff, so all that's going to have to be straightened out. Um, recapping it, and uh, I don't know what holds what holds that. What they had, they had rubber bushings. That that is the rubber bushings there. That's what happens to that old rubber. And they have liquidated into GOP. So we'll have to go ahead and, and remake those uh, support bushings for the, uh, for the mechanism. Okay, what I'm interested in right now is this mechanism. Now, inside this little thing here, whew. Oh, okay, it's got three bands. It says on there it's got three bands. Okay, that's going to be a nice radio if we can get it working. It had a chromed chassis, but it's a little bit rough now. We'll have to sandblast it, clean it up. It's got IF can that's been replaced. It's not a, that's not the original. The original is where this black painted. The film is no good. I can see it right now that the film itself is no good. Down under here is the the mechanism for turning the dial and everything. And it is definitely defunct. Okay. Now, the first thing to do is to get the mechanism working. I'm not going to mess with the capacitors and stuff. If we can't get the mechanism working, there's no reason to go through and recap it and do all that kind of stuff. So right now, what I want to do is get this gizmo out of here, the, the optical gizmo I want out of here. I don't know if that comes out of there or not. There's the bulb. And looking at it, it's very used, but it's still intact. We need that film out of there so that we can reproduce it. We have to reproduce that film. If we take that screw out and that screw out, then the top mechanism comes apart. <laughs> Boy, this is, this is a hell of a contraption. I'm going to take that out of there first, okay? We take this one out. Yeah. Then in the back over here, we've got one. Okay, got to remember, those are little itty-bitty screws, short screws, okay? 
Now this thing comes out. Okay. All right. There is the lamp. One lens right here and another lens right there which do the uh, focusing of it all. See, I've got to get that film out of there. The film is damaged, severely damaged, so it's going to be a trick. There's a couple screws down in here, and I think if I take those screws out... See, I don't want to take the lower mechanism loose because it's got that dial string in there, and it's all, it's all strung. And I don't want to unstring that dial string if I don't have to. Okay. It does. Okay. And we save that. Okay, now here is, see where it's been scraping there? It's, it's going to be bad news. Oh my God. Oh, the resolution on this thing. This is going to be, there's a, it's another place where it's been scraping. The resolution on it, this is, this is, goes down to, it looks like two point, two point writing. I don't know if I have the ability to, um, to duplicate that. My printer is going to go to enough resolution. Finding another film dial for it would be absolutely impossible. I mean, it, it just, it would mean somebody would have had to have made one. Okay, the chassis is all sandblasted and beautiful. Um, painted the power transformer and got everything sprayed with lacquer and everything, just like we do to keep it from corroding in the future. The, 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 uh, I thought that the uh, chrome plating on here was eaten up by rust, but it wasn't. It was just crud on there. When I sandblasted it, it came back to being shiny chrome. Chrome plated chassis. That, that's, it's a nice radio. What I have to do is get this loose so that I can rotate it and revolve it and all that. To do that, I have to get this uh, tension off of this cable. Okay, that rotates. This thing has got to all be lubed up. It is just full of crud and scunge. Okay, now this is the one where we have the trouble. Um, okay, that has to come off of there. All right, I'm going to I'm going to have to force it. I can't get it. Okay, that is not going to come. Okay, so this. This has got to turn freely, and it's, it's just absolutely, miserably tight. Let's see. If I go here. Okay. I don't want to break it. it, it that is not going to go. I have to take it from this side. Ah, there we go. This thing, it grabs it, but it doesn't have enough force to hold it. Okay, we're, we're locked onto it. Okay. That is loose. Okay, I'm going to put this up. Okay. Yes. I'm going to put a little cleaner. On these uh, capacitor contacts to clean them. There, the, the tuning shaft does not turn. Okay, there's something screwed. The nut came unscrewed. I mean, it is tight. That sucker is... Ah! It's trying to get loose. Oh yeah, there it goes. 
There it goes. Okay, that's going. All right, I'm going to squirt oil. All right, I want a lot of oil down in here. I'm just working oil into it. The, the grease inside here has hardened up. See, now this one here That's completely free there, and then the internal uh, internal bearing set is completely free. Okay, that's working. Okay. Okay, we tighten this back down. All right, now, first thing we have to do is put this one back in, okay? I just have to... Okay, we'll get this one, put it right there. This now is very easy to get to because the dealie is right here. Okay. Okay, let's. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt stuff into there. Cleaner. Still hanging up. Okay, more cleaner. Okay, let's go here with oil. Totally free. Okay. All right. That gets the um, elevation taken care of. All right. I've got to link that back into here. Okay. Get this. It's being ornery. It sure came out a lot easier than it's going back in. Oh, no. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now I have to get this and push it down. Okay. I got to turn this back again. Okay, one more. All right, that looks good. Now I've got to push this over, and that should go in there. They got a little D side, D shaped there. Ah, perfect. Now that screw goes back in here. Okay. And if we turn this, That works perfect. Okay, now what we have to do, I have to pry this out. I stick that bearing back down in that slot. Oh, I can't do that with this screw in there, dum dum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
See, this is the kind of crap that makes a radio a nightmare. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous, okay? Now, the next thing that I have to do is put this cable back into place, okay? We're going to turn this. Okay, we're in good shape. Good, good position here. All right, and that's in place. And I go through here and take this little thing and stick it behind there. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that's got it. Now, I've got to take this one, and it has to go, okay, around that pulley, okay, and then I have to grab around here, and it goes into the other grabber hole, grabber slot, okay? That's got it. And then, when we put this spring in there, ooh, that looks good. Okay, all right, that gets that on it. Get it into that hole. <laughs> Okie doke, that's it, that's it. Now, when I turn this, okay, that rotates like it should. Looks good. Okay, that gets all the dirt and grease off that side. Okay, we put this here. All right. Okay, it gained tendency. See, this thing is just floating around, and we've got to have pieces of rubber that are going to shove in there. All right, let me go get some rubber, and we'll do that. Okay, I've got little coupons of rubber here. And I got to shove one inside first, and then we put the outside one last. It's, it's the easy one, okay? Push that into that slot, into that hole. It's hard to get there because we've got components. It didn't go down in there. It, it's, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. No matter what we do, it's going to be a nightmare. Like every damn part of fixing an old radio. Now, I've got to take these and press them. To do that, I have to take the screwdriver and pry this. Ooh. Okay, and then we take it and hammer it into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha! There it is. There it is. Okay. Now, the last one. I've got to get in down here. See, now that has got that put back into position. Okay? Okay, that gets the tuning condensing condenser mechanism all working perfect. Okay, that's perfect. And a band switch. Okay, all that shit's working. Okay, now, um, before I fool with the projection mechanism, I'm going to go ahead and get the electronics done. That way I won't be, be tempted to break this. Um, I don't want to break that drum. Now, the next thing to do, we've got to recap. We're just gonna gonna replace these filter condensers. We stick one end of it right there. Get that on. Okay, 12 or 25. Okay, we'll put this one in the correct way, of course. All right, and go right under here. That looks good.
that takes care of the main power supply electrolytics. Now, that 12 mic is a piece of crap. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Okay, and that goes over to that resistor right there. Let's see what we've got here. 10 or 20 would do it. Okay, this is a 24. That'll be perfect. I'm going to get this one first. Okay, I'm going to have that to there that goes to ground. I'm going to cut off about maybe half an inch of this. It is not important. Okay. All right, that takes care of that. All right, we got two more right here. And I got one right here. Okay, this one here, I'm going to pull it off and see if it's good. This one is one that's original. Okay, we'll go on to here. It's five megs. You know, it's five megs probably be okay, but if it's five megs now, it's going to be it's going to be two megs in a year. Now, this one, 0.01, okay? All right, let's see what we've got here. 0.01. Okay. Okay, then we have a 0.15 to ground on there. Okay, what I want to do, I'm going to pull that 0.15 loose and measure that sucker and see if it needs to be replaced. Okay, megs, megs, it's okay. So we don't need to replace that one. Okay, here we have the line cord. All right, let me go ahead and arrange for a line cord. Okay, here we got a nice old plug, old-fashioned 1940s plug. Okay, now this goes up here, okay? So we're going to go there. So I've got to go through the hoe well. Let's see. Well, let's get us a cannot here. Okay, get great. Okay, no mess. Okay. Okay, there we go. And that's ready. Now, this one is going to be a three-quarter amp. I need a three-quarter amp fuse for this one. 85 watts. Okay, 85 watts. Okay, I, I'm going to use a one amp on this one. 85 watts is a little bit, a little bit stiff for a three-quarter amp. One amp. Okay, a one amp slow blow. Okay, see that's just, look at how that breaks, God. I can stick down under there. I need me a nice fuse holder. Fuse holder, what have we got, what have we got, okay? Okay, all right, that gets our fuse and our line cord. Okay, we have nothing in there. 3.9 watts without any tubes or anything plugged in. 
So the transformer is good. Um, that one right here, 051500, that's going to be good. That's 500K. Is that from the capacitor or is that from something else? If it's the capacitor, that would be a real disappointment. Okay. It is. It is. It's a piece of shit. Okay, we're gonna let's let's get this one on here first, so we don't forget where it goes. This thing's got a load of capacitors in it. Oh, 10 to 15 capacitors in it. Typical radio has got, you know, maybe five to eight. Here that goes to ground. Okay, this is low voltage stuff, so it doesn't make any difference. It makes no difference at all. Okay. <clears throat> here. Pull that off there. Get over to a zillion. And go here, here. They, they all. Okay, an O2 to Grood. Look. This one here. We go to here. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. Two. Three, that's the plate. Okay, that is definitely going to be a bad capacitor. Okay, I gotta go from there to there. Okay, I'm gonna cut here. And I'm gonna say that is definitely going to be a bad capacitor. No? That's over 20 megs. It's good. I'll be damned. Ah. All right, let's see. That's two megs. That's going to, that, that'll go bad. Okay, it's an 05. Okay. And that's going to be a point one. Okay, I'm going to cut it first, and we'll test it. Let's see. Who's it you got? That's going to be an AGC. Twenty meg. It's okay. That one's okay. Twenty megs. Okay, those are okay. All right, now that takes care of everything all the way to here. Okay, we got this one here. A couple of those. Okay, I don't know what we've got right here. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Okay, pin four is going to be a um, four is a second screen grid bypass. Okay. Um, that. Very good. And we just snip ski. Okay, that takes care of that one. Okay, we got a big fat capacitor to ground on that. Five and eight. <clears throat> okay, that's here. Ten can. Okay, so that, that is okay. We don't need to fuck with that one. 
Now I've got another one here to go straight. Okay, we don't need to fuck with that one either. And then a point one to ground. That's got the full power supply on it. You know, this this one didn't have a lot of bad capacitors in it. That's cathode ship. There's no problem. That one is not critical. That's that's okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, we we don't have any more that are in condition in positions that make any uh, that make any difference. Okay, now what I have to do next, what I want to do is get that speaker over here and test it. We've got two potential problems. Transformer, field coil. All right, put it down to. Okay, we've got connection to two of them. It's friction tape. They used friction tape. I don't even know if you can buy friction tape anymore. Definitely been a long time since I've seen friction tape. I remember a long time ago when I was a kid, I had friction tape. That's the one I've got to, I've got to have is that field coil. Okay, <laughs> friction tape. <laughs> Somebody back in probably the fifties did this. Back in the fifties, you could find friction tape everywhere. Go to go to the um, the hardware store, and you could get a roll of friction tape, that black cloth tape that. Uh, was really made for use on engines and stuff like that. So, the the output transformer is good. Okay, that one there is the one that has no connection. All right, now that gets the field coil. Okay, if I measure from here to here, we got a field coil, here to here. Okay, we've got the transformer, and here is the ground. Okay, everything is in order. Okay, well, we got a 5Y3 instead of a 5Z4, but that'll do. That will do. That's the 6Q. Still didn't get that squeezed in, even squeezing it.
There we go. All right, 6K7. Okay, I want to find some uh, find some nice glass tubes. Since this radio is going in my uh, collection, I'm going to find glass tubes to put in here. But I can test it with these uh, metal tubes. Well, I don't have I don't have a 6C5 down here. The 6C5 that was in it was was broken. So I've got to go in the attic and get a 6C5 and I may as well get I'll get the two 6K7s while I'm up there. All right. Now, I got some nice uh we'll use glass. I, I like the glass tubes best. Okay. It's loose. Widdlek. Put some super glue. Well, get in there. Okay, see now that, that glues the cap on it to where that cap isn't going to come off. <laughs> okay, that's got it. It'll do. That'll do. Okay, the 6C5. three of the damn things. I only brought two. Okay, I got to go get another one. All right, we've got a metal 6F6 in there now, and pin one is grounded. The shell is grounded. That'll shield it completely. Okay, power on. Okay, now I can turn the volume up and no problem. Okay, I have a 6K7 over here that's not lighting up. Bad one. All right, let me go get another one. All right, we got us another one here. Let's see. K7. Okay, we'll just wipe it off here. Make it look nice.
That's a good one to line up the IF. Okay, IF pans. Way off. A family coming together to get a job done the best way we know how. It means a marriage. Okay. That takes care of the IF. Fashion know how. It means the product and the people who use it. It means in November. Julia Hurricane. All right, that looks good. And then um, all the way up. Uh oh. Ah, no good, no good, no good. Okay, look at this. <clears throat> look at that local oscillator. Okay, if I tune down, it finally it settles down. I can't tell if the tuning is correct until I get the dial on there. Alright, so that's going to be the next thing we do, is put the dial. The radio is working, so that's that. I don't know, I just cannot imagine putting that damn screw down under this IFK. <laughs> yeah, ain't that the shit? You, you can't get to it. Oh, I was gonna. I gotta put some um, rubber under here. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece. I put that rubber. See that rubber keeps that in place. Well, that was not outstandingly difficult. It just was a damn nuisance. Okay, we got that in now. Okay, there's a mirror inside here. I've got to wipe that mirror off. Totally filthy. Okay. Okay, the dial uh, strip was absolutely unusable. Um, it is so darkened up and so faded and so distorted that what was happening is the distortion was causing the, the tape to move back and forth as it was rotated. So you'd set it to be in focus at one point and you'd rotate it a half an inch and it would go out of focus because it was not staying centered on the... Um, on the uh, drum. So I machined a new drum out of Delrin. This is a solid Delrin um, drum and I'm and the, uh, the, 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 the tape is no good. The, the piece of film is no good. So uh, I'm making up a new dial film now. It's going to be simpler than the original but same basic scheme. You know, they, It'll have the numbers on there and as you rotate it it'll put the numbers on the screen. Okay so what I'm doing is um, I'm marking off on the new dial. I have a piece of paper that's exactly the size of the dial. And I'm going ahead and uh, setting the radio to a certain frequency and then making the mark on the dial where it's going to be. Then I'll take it in on the computer, make up the new dial tape, and um, we'll put that on there and that's going to uh, that's going to make it work. 850, okay.
Okay, that's 850. Now we're going to go to 800. Now I'm setting the generator to the, to the input frequency and then tune the radio until we get there. It's 800. Okay, make a mark. All right. Next we go to 750. Okay, 750. Okay, then 700. Okay, um, I've got all the bands. What I did was I just took, marked the positions on the dial. I've got all of the uh, frequencies that I've marked. And this will enable me, I can take this off of here now. And when I put this and scan it into the computer, I'll have the positions on the dial for each of the numbers, uh, each of the frequencies on each of the bands. Okay, and we'll just make up. Oh, good. Good. Very good. Just typical. Good grief. Okay. And that will let us uh, go ahead and make it up. We'll make it, uh, we'll make a, a, a print off. When we print it off, we'll print it on mylar, on a transparency. And that'll make it just like a, um, like a piece of film. Okay. We have to go in and put it on a computer. Okay, cut this down. I'm not going to save all of it. It'll be a zillion gigabytes if we... What I'm doing is I'm taking these marks down here, which came off the... Uh, the, the tape, and I'm putting them onto the uh, onto the actual film that we're going to use. So I just line up the cursor with the uh, mark, and then put the put the mark in. Okay, now we're putting in the numbers. Okay, so I take the numbers off the chart and they go right in line and we just go right on across and stick them in. Okay, the next one is 600. Okay, next one is 650. Okay, okay, we've got, got the uh, whole thing with numbers and everything on it. All right, so we just take that and we print it out. Okay, we got it landscape and it fits on a page so we'll be okay. And then we just hit print and away we go. Okay, we've got our our strip cut out here and it looks beautiful. All right, we have to next fasten it to the drum. You can look up inside of here 
and see how we've gone with the light. There, we got the, we've got an aluminum slug that fits into the housing and for a heat sink. And then we got the um, 3 watt LED mounted on there. And wow, you talk about something that's got some brightness. Whew! Here, come here. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> that is something, hey? Whew, that has got some brightness. So it has to go on there like this, okay? I haven't sprayed it yet. As soon as we get it to where it's perfectly positioned, I'm going to spray it with lacquer because we have to have it coated with lacquer. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. We still have the ability to move this around. We can, we can rotate it on the plastic when we figure out exactly where. We have to get it back in the uh, radio with the light and we set the dial to match the um, tuning. Okay, I'm going to set it right in the middle so that we have the most amount of um, adjustment. <laughs> I've, got, I've got it upside down! Oh, i got it upside down! Ah! <laughs> oh! Okay. Alright. Okay. Now, we've got the We've got the uh, film fastened to the uh, to the drum. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put it together. Okay. Now let's see. The first thing we do. <clears throat> okay, that goes on there. Like that. Okay, I have. This one. Okay, and down into there. Okay. An odd size screw. Okay, now I don't need to tighten those down yet. Okay, that is just so perfect. Next, um, we need the light assembly. Okay. Did I scrap it down? Okay. There. fire it up. Okay. Okay, we're at 5.30 and I want to uh, see what this does. That's it. That's, that's it right there. That looks really good. <laughs> okay, no. that holds it in. It is in there. Okay, next we have this little thing here. It goes down under. Okay, that's good. Okay, that gets that put on there. So the housing is done. And if we work that, it works perfect. There's no chance of it hitting anything. And our, our dealy turns perfectly. Alrighty. That's it. That is it. Okay, the next thing I have to do is find 
the transformer the transformer that we're going to use to drive the uh, LED. Um, it takes 12 volts to run it and we've only got 6 volts in here for the filament. We've got the transformer hooked up in series. We've got about 14 volts on here and we're putting a diode to put only the correct polarity onto the LED. I don't know how good they are at withstanding reverse voltage, but uh, we won't risk it. As it turns out, the half-wave rectified voltage is just right. It gives 200 milliamps current, which is perfect. Alright, that completes the wiring. See, when I go straight into it, it's a lot brighter and more intense. Okay, well, that is the um, chassis all working. Now, I've got one more problem here. Look at that. That is not satisfactory. That thing barely has any glow at all. Okay, let me measure the plate voltage. Okay, it, it had a lot more glow than that the other day when I got that tube out of the attic. It had a lot more glow than that, so what I suspect is the B plus voltage on that tube is not correct. That tube should have at least 300 volts on the target. And if it's lower than that, Especially if it's a lot lower, like if it's like 200 volts or 100 volts, yeah, it doesn't glow worth a darn. You have to have a brand new tube to get anything out of it. That's it. That's all we get out of this set. 270 volts, but that's enough. It means this, uh, this, this I-tube is weak. All right, I'll have to get another one. Let me go find a brand new one. I got a brand new one somewhere. See, that's, see how bright that is? That's nice and bright. Okay, so that gets all the, um, all the electronics done. Now, cabinet. Look at that one there. Okay. I got lots of this one here, but this is for my collection, so I'm going to use the good stuff. This is professional stuff here. Okay. All right. Right there. going to go along the upper edge and put it here. Woo, it's hot! Hmm. Okay, very good. All right, pull tightly. And push down with this. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, look how nice that looks. Get a little place broken here. I got to find a piece of stuff to go on there. The rest of the box is completely okay. We're not going to do any work on the box at all as far as finish is concerned. Okay, we've got it all mounted in there. I tube is in there. I've got two here which are the same and these two are odds. Okay, let me get the box of knobs. Okay. Okay, there's a third one. I can find one more. This one. Okay, there we go. All right, we got four the same right there. 
Okay. So we have volume, which goes here. Okay. And we have tone, which goes right here. And then we have tuning. I have two of them that say tuning. So we'll just stick one of them on the tuning and one of them on the band switch. Okay. That baby is done. Okay, let's plug it in and make sure that it works. Okay, I'll have to move it over here. Increase as well to their annuities beginning also All right, January. here it is working. The Department of Public Safety using heavily armed gunboats to try and stop you. The defense has rested in the trial of three men accused of killing Ahmed. Guy, you have a disabled vehicle that has been moved to the right shoulder. I'd like to remind you also in the beginning of the program, maybe sometimes a little bit later on in the program, too. To get All right. That's <laughs> crazy. I don't think there's anything on these other bands. Just this one's always been dead. This one I think I have to hook to the antenna. I don't have much of an antenna on it. Okay, that's my outside antenna. I still don't think we've got much on here. All right. Well, that's it. It's really not a bad looking radio. It'd be nice if um, we would have been able to save the original tape, the original film, but um, that thing was just so eaten up that and it just was no way. Okay, that's it.